Hey, Abbott, what time is it? It's time for the Abbott and Costello Show. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go with the Abbott and Costello Show. Abbott and Costello Show, produced and transcribed in Hollywood tonight for your listening pleasure. So, hold on to your chairs, folks, for here they are, Bud Abbott and Lou Costello! Costello, where have you been? I haven't seen you all week. Oh, Abbott, I've been moving. Moving? I bought a house way out in the country. It's about a mile from my Uncle Artie Stebbins' place. What a beautiful ranch, Abbott. I call it the Lumbago Ranch. Lumbago Ranch? Yep. Why did you name it Lumbago? Because it's got a creek in the back. <laughs> Costello, you dummy, what do you want with a ranch? I'm going to raise monkeys. Yeah, you bought a ranch to raise monkeys? Sure. You're a nut. Well, what's better for a nut than a monkey ranch? Oh, come <laughs> You watch me, folks. <laughs> well, well, I knew that line I had to continue. Thank you. What is that? What is that, Dad? Um, hey, Abbott. Is that a picture of the ranch? You took the words right well, out of my mouth. Let me see it. Let's see it. Let's well, see it. Wait, wait a minute. minute. Over here. What's that little, uh, what's that little house in the back? That's the garage. I'll bet you thought I was going to stay the smokehouse. <laughs> so you bought yourself a new house, eh? What condition is it in? What? What condition is it in? Oh, wonderful condition. Well, that's well. I just had it painted, and it didn't cost me a cent. A doctor painted it for nothing. The, a doctor painted your house for nothing? Right. But wait a minute. How do you know it was a doctor? He signed his name on the roof in big red letters. It says, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Just a minute, Costello. Who Would sold that you... be an ad? No, I don't know. Listen, who sold you this house? Well, I got the house through a Mr. Crow. Mr. Crow? Yeah. In order to get the house, they told me I'd have to go through E.S. Crow. <laughs> that... <laughs> please, please, please. That's escrow. That means you bought it through the bank. Does the bank have a lien on your house? Does the bank have a what? A lien on your house. No, if the bank have a lien on my house, it would fall down. No, no, no I'm talking about a mortgage. Who holds the paper on your house? Nobody holds the paper in my house. The paper's stuck on the wall with glue. <laughs> All right, look, never mind that. Well, what kind of a place did you buy? Do you have a, uh, uh, polio? I beg your pardon? You have a polio. It's much better. Now, let's not get personal. Well, now, listen, please... I mean, a, a, a patio with a barbecue. I do all my cooking in my patio. I knew you when you didn't have a patio to cook in. <laughs> Look, Costello, don't you know anything about your new house? Did you even have it inspected? Inspected for what? Well, for floors. You might have floors in your house. Of course I got floors. First floor, the second floor. No, 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 no. What if you got walk on a ceiling? No, no, no. Have I got floors All in right, house? never mind that. What, what period is your house? What period? Yes. Did you buy a period house? No, I bought a house, period. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to find out if your house is Spanish or French or English. It's early American. How do you know? I found a couple of dead Indians in a cellar. <laughs> Look, Costello, you can generally tell what kind of a house it is by the roof. Is the roof uh, shingle or tiled? Oh, sure. It's one of those... What did you say? Uh, is your roof shingle? Certainly a shingle. Who ever heard of a married roof? <laughs> Costello, will you please talk sense? Is your roof shingle or did you have it tiled? Abbott, what are you saying? When you're shingled, you can't have a tile. Now, wait a minute. Only married people can have a tile. Now, Costello, please, please. I'm talking about your rooftop. My what top? Rooftop. Roof, 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 roof. I can't hear you. That's a dog barking someplace. <laughs> Will you cut it out? Look, Costello, did you notice if it was tile on top of your roof? No, what would a tile be doing on top of my house? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about a tile roof. A tile roof is held together by mortar. By what? Uh, <laughs> by mortar. Mortar. Don't you know what mortar is? Certainly. My mortar is the woman that married my father. <laughs> now, yeah, dummy, the tile and the mortar keeps the house dry. At my house, it's my mortar that keeps her tile dry. <laughs> uh, well, I'm trying to tell you that the mortar holds the tile on the roof. What kind of a mortar would hold a tile on a roof? Of all the stupid idiots, I'm trying to tell you that the tile is plastered on the roof. Now there's a pretty picture. A little tile plastered on a roof. Where did he get the stuff from? What, what stuff? It's against the law to sell that stuff to children. Costello, the, the tile is plastered on the roof with mortar. What kind of family is that? 
The mortar and the little tiles plastered on the roof. Where is the porter? Ah, oh, Costello. He ought to be looking after his look, mortar and just his... A minute, just a minute, please. Let me explain. Now, I have a tile roof on my house. You also have a tiled head on your totem. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't interrupt. Now, when the roof is tiled, they spread the tile on the roof, and then plaster it with mortar. The tile runs across the roof and down to the gutter, so that in case of a shower, the tile drains into a pipe or spout and keeps everybody in the house from getting soaked. That's enough. I am certainly glad I found you out. Found me out? You heard me. What do you mean? I didn't mind so much when you said a shingle roof could have a tile. I didn't even care when you said the tile was up on top of my house. But when you had the nerve and you said that poor little tile was taking a shower with a pipe in his mouth and running down the gutter to get plastered with his mortar, not only have you attacked the American home, but you have impugned on the Bill of Rights and cast asparagus on the Atlantic Charter. <laughs> Here we are, Abbott. This is my new home. Oh, boy, Abbott. Since you and me has been pals for so many years, I'm going to ask you to move in here with me. Well, Costello, that's mighty sweet of you. I and I want to know that I, I'll be very happy to live here with you the rest of my life. You will? Yes. Now will you carry me across the threshold? Uh, oh, please. Come on. Uh, get down and stop acting silly. Let's go in and look the house over. Come on. Now, now, the first thing I want to see is my room. Have you got a room for me with the bath? Abbott, we're in the country. Way out in the country. All we got is a room with a path. <laughs> Costello, are you crazy? Do you mean to tell me that you bought a house without a bathtub? Why do we need a bathtub? We're only going to stay here during the winter. <laughs> Costello, I have to have a bath. Well, you can take a bath in the sink. It'll save us the cost of a maid. Oh, how can I save the cost of a maid by taking a bath in the sink? You can wash yourself in the dishes at the same time. <laughs> Costello, you can count me out. I'm not going to live in a house without a bathtub. You haven't even got a bathroom. Don't get excited, Abbott. We'll put the bathtub at the end of the dining room. But you won't have any wall between. A lot of people are sitting at the table. Let them turn their backs. No. <laughs> but please, talk sense, Costello. In the first place, you can't get a bathtub without priority. The head of the OPA has frozen tubs. He has frozen tub. Absolutely. Poor man, he should wear heavier underwear. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, you can't buy a tub without an okay from the ration board. Yeah, but that's easy. I'll call, I'll call them right up. Nothing to it. Good afternoon, OPA ration board. If you haven't got it, try and get it. <laughs> Look, lady, I just bought a house up in the country, and, and it ain't got no bathroom. Well, why don't you bathe in the spring? I can't wait till the spring. I'm going to a dance Saturday night. <laughs> well, I don't know whether you can get a priority for plumbing or not. I'll let you talk to our Mr. Fawcett. <laughs> oh, but I'm afraid you'll find him pretty cold. Hot or cold? Connect me with Fawcett. <laughs> one moment, please. Hello, Fawcett leaking. Earth leaking. <laughs> Get him right, will you, Niles? Get him right. <laughs> Hello, this is Luke Costello. I'd like to have a bath. How long has it been since you had one? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I didn't call up to hear you dribble, Fawcett. <laughs> I'm trying to get a new tub. Well, I'm sorry. The only tubs we're releasing are for commercial purposes. Do you take in washing? What do you mean, take in washings? I never washed in my life. Well, in that case, it's nice of you to make this call by phone. Goodbye. <laughs> See, Costello, I told you you couldn't get a bathtub. That's what you think. Now, just watch this. I'll get something. Hello, is this the Acme Junkyard? Yeah. Are you alive, brother? <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Thank you. I know you're there. I hear you breathing. <laughs> I'd like to get a second-hand bathtub. You'd like to get a second-hand bathtub? <laughs> oh, you mad, impetuous fool, you! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, brother, don't knock yourself out. All I want is a second-hand tub. All you want is a second-hand tub. Are you sure that's all? Why don't you ask me for a date with my wife? Okay, but one thing at a time. <laughs> Costello, I tell you, you'll never get a tub. i got to try just once more. Stick around. Ajax Plumbing Company. 
Oh, this is a dead cast tonight, ain't it? Is this the plumber? No, this is the plumber's friend. That's all right, brother. I'll talk to you. I'm a plunger myself. Have you got a used bathtub down there? No, we haven't. Why don't you look in this morning's paper? Why? Did somebody advertise a bathtub? No. But Dick Tracy's in a terrible mess. <laughs> oh, come on, Costello. Look, I'll get you a bathtub. We're going downtown to the swap shop. <laughs> Well, here's a swap shop, Costello. Let's go in and buy a bathtub. Come on. Hey, I am so grandy. Yep, swapping, I am dandy. Oof, oof, oof. Hello, friend Kitzel. Yes, sir, comrade and gentlemen. Welcome to Kitzel Geo Swap Shop here. Could I interest you in a beautiful imported painting that came all the way from Buffalo, Rome? Uh, just a minute, Kitzel. <laughs> Buffalo is in New York. There is no Buffalo Rome. You mean you never heard? Oh, give me a home where the Buffalo Rome. Oh, where the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard an encouraging word. And they break you an income tax day. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, aye, 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 aye. what a slight. All right, please, please. Cut it out, cut it out. <laughs> Kitzel, have you got an old tub around here? Yes, but she's busy doing my ironing. I... <laughs> You ought to get her to iron you, Kitzel. You're all washed up. I'm all washed up. <laughs> Could be. Uh, uh, listen, Kitzel, Costello needs a bathtub for his new house. Uh, do you happen to have one? Oh, have I got a bathtub. Gentlemen, just step over here and gaze on this beautiful piece of merchandise. What a bathtub. Wait a minute, Kitzel. You mean that broken down thing over there? Yes. That tub must be 100 years old. Costello, how can you tell the age of a bathtub? I counted the rings around it. Oh, now, 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 now Costello, that, that's a very nice tub. Oh, it is, is it? Well, look at those funny-looking legs on it. Oh, pish posh, funny-looking legs on it, funny-looking legs. Are you going to wash in it or dance with it? <laughs> this tub is a genuine antique, and it was handed down from the Revolutionary War. Just a minute, Kitzel. There's a big crack in the enamel. Well, that crack proves that it's an antique. How did it happen? George Washington slipped here. <laughs> but, 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 don't worry. The lady who owns the tub said she'll have the crack fixed. Cemented? Of course cemented, or she wouldn't have said that. <laughs> my line, thank you. Ketsu, I used to think you were a dope, but I've changed my mind. Eh, hey, what do you think of me now? You're a full-fledged apprentice moron. Junior grade. Oh, <laughs> Costello, we're wasting time. Look, how much do you want for the tub, Ketsu? Fourteen dollars. I'll give you eight. Eight dollars? Eight dollars for this magnificent tub? Why, I wouldn't even sell it to my own brother for eight dollars. Just a second. Just a second. I'll give you eight dollars for that tub. Positively no. Who is that? My brother. <laughs> How come he talks with such an accent? I can't understand it. I never leave him out of my sight. <laughs> well, come, come, kiddies. I said $14 for the tub and 14 dollars it is. You see, I have only one price. I'll give you 10 That's my price. Sold for $10. <laughs> and there will be $35 for delivery. $35 for delivery? Yes. No, you don't, Kitzel. I'll take the tub home myself on top of my car. Come on, Abbott, help me carry it out to the car. Costello, how can we carry this tub out to the car? It weighs over a thousand pounds. We'll make two trips. Oh, please. And now back to Abbott and Costello. Costello has just bought a second-hand bathtub, and in order to save himself the cost of delivery, he's hauling it home on top of his car. As we find them now, Abbott is at the wheel and Costello is on top of the car, sitting in the bathtub to balance it. <laughs> what a picture. One tub sitting in another. <laughs> hey, how are you getting along up there, Costello? Are you having trouble holding the tub on the top of the car? Yeah, Abbott, don't drive so fast. The tub is liable to fall off. I don't want to put another crack in my enamel. Never mind that. Are you comfortable sitting in the tub? No, it's awfully chilly up here. Hand me up the stopper for the tub. Stopper? What for? Feels a little drafty around the drain. <laughs> hey, Abbott! Abbott! What's the 
can't see it driving all low, over all those bumps. Oh, I'm trying to knock the ashes off my camel cigarette. Abbott, what? will you watch where you're driving? Look out! Look out! Oh! What happened? Low bridge. Now, will you watch where you're going? Oh, you pull over there to the curb. Loud, isn't he? What's the trouble, officer? And what's the trouble, is it? What do you think you're doing right around the street sitting on top of your car in the bathroom? Have you tried to find an apartment lately? <laughs> Don't get fresh with me, young man, or I'll come up there and scrub your back with his club. Oh, yeah? Just because you got a uniform on, you think you're tough? Take your coat off just once, brother. Oh, All right. Turn my coat off. What about it? Much cooler that way, isn't it? <laughs> uh, look, officer, we just bought a bathtub, and we're in a hurry to get it home. I can't help that. I'll have to give your fat friend a ticket for indecent exposure. What do you mean? I'm sitting in a tub, but all you can see is my face. That's what I said, indecent exposure. <laughs> now get along with you. Well, here we are, Costello. Home at last. Now, how are you going to get this big tub into the house? Abbott, you leave it to me. I'll back across my neighbor's lawn and put the tub in through the dining room window. But that tub is too big. It won't go through the window. Abbott, will you please let me handle this? Oh, well, it... I told you I'd get it through. Just a minute, just a minute. What are you two? Who the big girl do? Riding across my lawn with that car. Why, look at you. You ripped up my grass, crushed my petunias, and shattered my gladiolas. Get back in the house before I fracture your hollyhocks. <laughs> now, now, Costello. Uh, Please don't talk like that. This woman is your neighbor. Remember the old saying, you should love your neighbor. Okay. Oh, you both put me down. Costello. Do you want me to call my father? No, thanks. I don't think he'd appeal to me. No. <laughs> Come on, Costello. Let's go in the house and connect the tub. Now, the first thing we have to do is to connect the pipes to the main. The main what? Uh, the water main. Where's the water main? I don't know, but the milk main will be here tomorrow. <laughs> I'm talking about the water main. What runs under the ground from the street to your house? Gophers. <laughs> Hello, fellas. Now, what do you want, Niles? We're well, busy. No, I, I heard you bought a bathtub, Costello, and I thought I'd help you install it. You know, I come from a mechanical family. Mechanical family is right. They're all wound up and jerky. Oh, break it up. <laughs> break it up, Costello. I'm going down in the basement and connect the pipes from the tub to the hot water heater. Uh, you bore a hole in the floor and shove the pipes down through. Okay, Niles. You heard him. Now, you're going to help me. Hand me that drill. i got to bore this hole. Say, uh, you must do a lot of this work, Costello. Oh, I wouldn't say a great deal. Oh, I don't know. People say they always find you boring. <laughs> hey, Costello, what are you doing up there? Bore that hole and put the pipe through. I don't have to bore a hole, Abbott. I found a couple of holes in the floor already. Oh, wait a minute. You can't use those. Those are not holes. What do you mean they're not holes? They look like holes to me. <laughs> Costello, they are holes, but they're not holes. How can they be holes if they're not holes? Look, Costello, a knot hole is a hole, but it's not like a hole that's not a knot hole. This guy can't even go down in a basement without starting a routine. <laughs> hey, Abbott, what? who's on first? Oh, no, 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 no. I like that routine better than the one you started. Now, look, look, Costello. Look, will you please shove those pipes down through the hole in the floor? Where are you, Abbott? Look through the hole. You can see me. Hey, Abbott. What? How you changed. Where did you get those little beady eyes and that mustache? You're looking in the wrong hole. That's a rat. Well, there is a strong family resemblance. <laughs> Here comes the pipe, Abbott. Okay. I'll connect them to the hot water heater. You can get ready to take your bath. Oh, boy. Just think of it. My first bath in my new house. Excuse me, Ken, while I get in the tub and turn on a shower. Are you ready, Abbott? All ready. You can turn the water on. Oh, boy. I'm peeing in the rain. I'm sliding down the drain. Oh. Yeah, but I, I can't see you, Costello. Everything is suddenly gone black. The black is me. 